Yeah, first we will select um, CPUs for uh, f uh, with VID. So hopefully we can uh, find the best one uh, for the first tests. And yeah, just uh, cool down the system, find a cold bug and then we will see what happens. So of course we need to test uh, to both CPUs and find the best one and also to use for the 3D marks and yeah. And of course some uh, small tweaks like retime or something, but I don't think there are so many tweaks for Cinebench, it's like it's much, much uh, CPU clock dependent, so the best CPU will win the stage, I, I think. At first we, we're going to test the CPU, especially the VID and how it clocks on, on, on air. Um, and then we will bench uh, Cinebench. That's for sure, and after that we can bench all the three 3D benches after it. And yeah, I, my strategy, my personal strategy would be, because it's, it's the hardest 3D bench, it's 3D Mark 11, um, just get the 980 th uh, streaks through 3D 11 and after that uh, bench all the other Fire Strikes, Fire Strike Extreme and Fire Strike P. Yeah. I didn't uh, rebench uh, the last uh, benchmark with uh, after the mark uh, a bit of cine bench, but uh, I will see. Uh, we will see quickly, but uh, I really don't uh, not know. Legacy tweaks like everyone like load and priority things like that, but I think every contestant will use it, so it's not secret uh, tweak. It's things everyone uses. Mm, about Cinebench, we will try to test both of the processors in order to find the best one. And then we will uh, try to insulate the both cards uh, ASAP in order to test again both of them and find the best uh, card out of two. Okay. With Cinebench, uh, it's mainly of the core speed of the CPU, so obviously we'll try and max that out first, uh, then look at pushing cache and memory for the extra few percent. Uh, with these CPUs you get you know, quite a lot of variation of how they like to be benched. Some can run high clocks all day, others that if they crash you need to heat up and then pull back down and heat up and pull back down every, almost every single time that they crash. So we'll need to figure out the best strategy for our particular CPU, push core, then push cache, then push memory to get the best out of the cine bench. In uh, the 3D benchmarks, because it's single card, the main focus actually is on the GPU. Even 3D Mark 11, if you can get like 5.3 to 5.5 on the CPU, that's enough, then you focus on the GPU. So on, on those uh, benchmarks, we'll maybe clock down the CPU uh, to, to give us uh, extra stability of the system to be able to max out the GPU first. Then when we want the last few percent of each uh, 3D benchmark, we may well then try and push the CPU also. But it's the important thing with the 2D, obviously max out the CPU core, then cache, then memory, then uh, on the on the 3D benchmarks, uh, a, a good enough CPU clock of five, you know 5.3 to 5.5 is fine, and then put just concentrate on pushing the card, pushing the card, pushing the card till you've maxed out the card completely on all three benchmarks. Then look at card plus system if you've got time to get that extra efficiency, and also apply any tweaks that you know.